All right, with this West 2 weather plus update, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Manolfi. Boy, I tell you what, we've got a big up and down yo yo about ready to come through. 80s tomorrow, 20s by Saturday morning, and a tremendous temperature change. We're going to break all of that down for you here in a second. But right now, on this Christmas Eve Eve, I would like to thank you guys for joining me, not only tonight, but uh, uh, throughout the course of the, the years here, as we've been doing Facebook Live to give you guys. Uh, up-to-date information on uh, stuff that's going on in your neighborhood, whether it's calm weather, cool weather, hurricane, severe. Uh, we're here for you. Just know that. Clifford E., Carla Deem, Sheila Pers Persuade, uh, Persuade uh, Sharon Matthews, Kyle Sparks. Uh, yes, Kyle, good to have you, my friend. Uh, Stars Holiday Celebration. Not sure what that means, but uh, if you want to explain that, please do. JoJo Vaughn, Nancy Haynes, Timothy Hilliard. Folks, uh, this is all about the cold, and this front here is going to be the game changer. This is the one that's going to bring us the chance for some strong to severe storms. Uh, mainly the big thing is going to be the wind concern, uh, not so much tornadoes here uh, Thursday evening. And then for Christmas Day, cold and waiting on that chill for Saturday morning for sure, Nancy. Timothy Hilliard, Helen Ogden, uh, Kathy Agel, uh, Lulu, Lula, Michael Van Zant. Uh, Christine Andrea, Louis Allman, uh, Salida Quinn, Merry Christmas to you and your family there, Miss Savannah, Georgia, now in Orlando. Uh, Raquel Ramos, Ely, Terry Hadi Lani, Patrick Speaks, Elvira, uh, I'll take your cold over the blizzard. Uh, yes, oh, send us some pictures. Stephanie Buca Morales, Cheryl, Sonia Diaz. Boy, we got a we got a lit cr uh, crowd in here tonight. I love it. Cindy, good to have you, by the way. Who else has popped in? Candy, Danielle. Let me go ahead and share this over to a couple different destinations, and then we are going to rock and roll. Got a lot of ground to cover here uh, tonight, so hang tight. Uh, Larissa, Yaritza, uh, Kenny. Uh, oh, Ken, congrats to you. Let me know if you get any side effects. I doubt you will. I'm sure you're going to be fine, but that's some, some awesome news. Uh, glad you were able to get it. And uh, so is that the COVID and the Moderna, by the way, for you, Ken? Elizabeth Pavan. Uh, Patrick Speaks has popped in. Good to have you there, my friend. Uh, let me go ahead and share this over. Share to a page. Tracy Bosch, the Boaster, the Boschinator, the Boschilama. Uh, hope, uh, hope you do, hope you the best. Thank you, Darlene. Merry Christmas to you, Charlita. Jojo, white out. I post some excellent. Jojo, how much snow are you going to get up there? See, and you were worried about not having a white Christmas. I told you, woman. I told you, girl. Kenny Gottlieb is in the house. All right, let's rock and roll. Shake and bake. Get this puppy going. Marilyn Giroux has popped in. Uh, all right, so JoJo Vaughn is up there in Minnesota on the north side of that storm there where they're getting some snow. Out ahead of it, look at that line of storms that has uh, quickly developed there uh, from Indiana all the way through Illinois, uh, Missouri, Arkansas, down towards southeastern Texas. Uh, for us here, it's the calm before the proverbial storm. Uh, that's what we're going to be dealing with here uh, tomorrow evening. In fact, let's get right to it. It's warm out there right now. Jody Boyd, Christina, uh, Genesis, and Becky Moore. Uh, good to have each and every one of you fine folks in here. We're in the 50s and 60s for the most part. Tonight's lows are not going to drop uh, a whole lot. Uh, I can't get, uh, I can't wait to get my code. Yes, hello everyone from Louisiana. Becky. Uh, cold weather, Brenda. Yep, it's coming. It's coming. So, so tomorrow, uh, let's check this out. Here's the deal, y'all. Let's get this puppy rolling. So maybe a couple of uh, mid-afternoon showers, a bit below St. Cloud, but whoa, hey, hey, slow down there, uh, future cast. So there it is, coming into Denellen right around 637. And then nice little cluster of showers and storms, 738, Leesburg, 839, right there in Orlando, 99310, 11 inches. <whistles> Joyce Negron, good to have you there. Hola, senorita. Uh, Lori Whitehurst, Kimberly Fullwider, uh, good surfing weather. It's going to be cold, Scotty. They're going to be in the 30s. Uh, so there's the leading edge, Bicklow. And boom, there it is, St. Cloud, a little bit of a wind. And then the actual front comes into Ocala right around 10, 30, 11. That continues to drop south. And you can see, 
how it weakens, but continues to drop south. Clears out of Orlando at about 4.35 o'clock in the morning. Clears Melbourne between 5.30 and 6. Rainfall amounts do look like this. Uh, new model runs a quarter to a half an inch in, in the metro, half an inch to three quarters of an inch north and west. Jay Eckert, Juan Melendez, um, uh, Tiffany Pat, uh, Francesca Marie, uh, uh, Kathy, yes, very early in the morning. That is correct. A lot of wind with the storm. That's the, uh, here we go. Here's the update. An enhanced risk for severe weather through Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina. We're on the tail end of it. The core of the Main jet streams up to the north, but there's just so much wind in the upper levels of the atmosphere that I'm, I'm concerned that we could have an isolated severe storm based on the wind profile. So let's let's kind of break that down, and then we'll get to the cold. Strong winds, 40 plus. I, I think everybody's going to have that. Severe winds, 58 plus. I don't think everybody's going to have that, but I think there will be a few that get close. Hail threat, tornado threat, very low. Uh, Jojo Hernandez, you are not going to get. Uh, a, wake, a warm Christmas. Uh, temps are coming. Uh, Layla Clark, we got you. So tomorrow, Mike drop. Look at that. Upper 70s, low 80s. Uh, you know, I mean, that's uh, that's going to be a shock to the system when we're going from the 80s uh, into the into the upper 70s right there. So that that's uh, that's what we're we're going to be dealing with right there. Uh, now, let's talk about these changes. Uh, Josephine Loyacano, right back at you. There's your front Thursday, Christmas Day. Blustery, windy, colder. Check out the Christmas Day planner. 43, 48, 54. There you go. Uh, which graphic said Monday? That should be tomorrow. Oh, did I miss that? Ooh, that's uh, okay. That says Thursday. I should say Thursday. My bad. I forgot to change that second line. Uh, that is indeed for Thursday. Good catch on that, young man. Uh, now, Sue, we're gonna get to that. We are waking up to oh, and wind chills that are ridiculous. Yeah, Rivera. Uh, no, no, rain will be gone before we get to cold. All right, so that's Christmas Day. Let's go back to Christmas Day. 43, 48, 54. Now, here comes the core of the coldest air. Woo! <laughs> Pam Ritchie, Morrison. I came on just... Uh, it's Most of the day looks good, uh, Pam. I, you know, it's going to be after 7 o'clock in the evening when the showers and the storms come marching on in. And then it's all about the cold. Look at Saturday morning. Ocala, 27. Ice Age is coming. Uh, for us down here, yep. That qualifies. I'm going to go county by county here for the freeze duration here in just a second. So don't go anywhere. Ocala 27. The Village is 29. Sanford 32. Bithlow. Uh, Bithlow, I'm going to update. New numbers coming in. I think we're going to hit freezing here. Uh, St. Cloud 34 as well. So boom. There you go. Now, let's do the uh, no freeze warning yet, but it's coming from Marion County. Impact time 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. Looking at a 4 to 8 hour freeze coming and in fact when you take a look now at the freeze duration here look at that right at 26 nine hours ocala Danella, 27 degrees eight hour freeze duration bellevue 20 28 wind 28 seven hour freeze duration now on into sumter county uh look at this we got the villages rutland and bushnell uh, impact time 2 a.m to 8 a.m looking at a two to six hour freeze duration and and boom there you go rutland six hours uh, that, it's like we're in Yakutsk, um, huh, Mary? Uh, Evans Village is 29, Wildwood 29, uh, four-hour freeze duration there. Bushville and Webster, right around 30 with a three- to four-hour uh, freeze duration. Uh, Lake County, let me get Lake County here, boom. Uh, Lake County, Astor and Paisley, 29 degrees, five-hour freeze duration. Lady Lake. 29 degrees, five hour freeze duration. Umatilla and Eustis, check it. There you go. Uh, <laughs> 30 degrees, Saturday morning, four hour freeze duration. Leesburg, 31, a three hour freeze duration. Groveland and Mascot, 31, a two hour freeze duration. Uh, now, Orange County is interesting because you've got uh, uh, cold enough north and west and cold enough south and east. Freeze duration here is looking at about 
uh, one in most locations to three. One to three, Zellwood, Apopka, Bithlow, Wedgefield, and Christmas, 32-31 uh, right there. So uh, uh, there's your freeze duration for Orange County. The metro areas will not have a freeze. The metro areas will not have a freeze, but there may be a frost if the wind can slacken on off. Now, Seminole County, boom, 5 to 7 hour, 5 to, five a.m. to 7 a.m. And a one to two hour freeze there. Again, obviously, you want to cover the plants and bring the pets in. Uh, Heathrow, one to two hours. Lake Mary, one to two hours. Uh, I'm not sure why I put Lake Mary in there twice. I'll fix that here. Geneva, Chuliota, 31 degrees, one hour freeze duration. Nope, John, not this time. What makes this winter so cold? Uh, you know, we've had a big trough uh, across the eastern third of the United States, Jake. It's a great question. Oviedo, 31. All the warmer air has been out west. And we've had a bunch of uh, nor'easters crank on up. Uh, so that's pulling down the cold air. Volusia County, Pearson. Five-hour freeze duration, a temperature of 29. The Leon Springs, 29, four-hour freeze duration. The Land, 30, three-hour freeze duration. Deltona, 30, two-hour freeze duration. Daytona Beach International Airport at the airport, not the beach. Want to make that very clear, 31, and a one-hour freeze. Uh, Marna, that would be nice. A hard freeze, are temperatures at or below 28 for four or more hours? Maryland, great question. All that is missing is snow, says Tara. Hello, Tony. Uh, Tiffany, climate change is real. Shilida uh, Persua. Claremont is going to be a 33, so no freeze there. Good question. Even though Grove and the mascot are awfully close, um, you guys are going to be probably just above the freezing mark. It's going to be close. And I may update these numbers again for you here tomorrow. I will. Uh, so that can change. We're looking at the uh, computer models and the trends. Uh, freeze warning. Not yet, but the interior of Flagler County, I'm expecting it. Uh, again, the when you take a look at some of the cities in Flagler County uh, that will have the freeze, it's Bunnell, 30 degrees, 6 hours. Bimini, 30 degrees, 6 hours. Shell Bluff, 30 degrees, 6 hour freeze. Uh, if there was moisture with these temperatures, yeah, but uh, no moisture. Jerica Morales, good to have you there. Palm Coast, says Eileen Nunez. A light freeze is where temperatures... Just briefly get the freeze, maybe a half an hour. Corona, 31, five-hour uh, freeze. Palm Coast, 31, and a two-hour freeze. Well, you ask why five hours with Corona, 31, uh, and Palm Coast, uh, 31 and two? Because Corona is a little more protected. It's inland a little bit more south and west. Uh, so that's uh, Kissimmee, no freeze there. They're going to be at about 33, 34. So if you don't see your city... That means I'm not forecasting a freeze for where you live, just FYI. Um, let's see here. Let's do this. Uh, so the coldest so far in Orlando has been 39. Uh, I think we're going to blow past that on Saturday morning. And then you take a look at this temperature drop. Insane in the membrane. Uh, 81 on Thursday afternoon, 34 Saturday morning. No freezes in Brevard, uh, Elvira. You're going to be just above freezing, so you're okay. Uh, Tara, you are so kind. Thank you. Stay warm, everyone. I mean, thank you. Grazie. Paparazzi. Uh, Lori Whitehurst, Merry Christmas to you as well. Jennifer Wagner Loman, thank you. From your J Lo, J Lo, J J Lo. Uh, J J J I love that. Yukon uh, Cake, uh, yep, Yukon. That's correct, Amundo. Yeah, I, I mean, even if you don't get a freeze, there's a good chance you're going to have a frost. Uh, everybody's talking about this December. Well, how does it stack up? Great question. Let's answer that. Pam Richie uh, Martison. Bring those fur babies in. Hot cocoa bombs sound nice, says Eileen. Uh, Michelle Atardi, good evening to you. All right, so 2020, second coldest December since 2000 behind 2010. 2010, by the way, had six freezes. Thank you and Merry Christmas, says Lynette Hurst Thor. Uh, Thor. Thor Easy for me to say. Thorstenson. Thorstenson. I'm going to go with Thorstenson. Lynette, forgive me. Yukon Cape O'Greco. 2 p.m. Christmas Eve in Auckland. You're going to be there in Auckland? Wow. Jeff Neighbors is in the house. Thorstenson. That's, I'm going with that. It's my final answer. Uh, so there you go. Now, Ocala's coldest so far. It's 29. I'm calling for 27. Boom. Mic drop. Uh, seven day for Daytona Beach. 60, 39, 31, 40, and 50. 
Cold stuff. Linda, <laughs> you're killing me. I love it. I wish you an early Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Avira Pena. Right back at you, big really girl. Merry Christmas to you, Patty Lindsay. Jane Garrison, the Garinator, the Garolina, the Garmeister. Now, you don't like the cold? Hold on. Time out. Look at Saturday. High pressure builds back to the east. Temperatures begin to moderate latter half of the weekend. Look at that. 54 Saturday afternoon, 67 Sunday afternoon. Now, I am in MLB. Ah, oh, I got you. I got you. Don't forget my motto, folks. Sharing is caring. The more people we can reach by you sharing this, uh, the more people we can put in the weather note. Jay Lohman. Uh, oh, Jay Lo, you are too kind to me. Thank you. And Michelle Van Zant. I like it when Christmas. Yes, Mish, I agree. In case I don't see you tomorrow. Oh, Joe Inklin didn't right back at you. Thank you, young lady. Coronava. Coronava. Hi, good evening to all. Amen. Uh, from California, USA. Cora. Cora, Cora. Good to have you there, Miss L.A. Uh, Barbara Bianchi. Uh, Semin. Good to have you there. Jennifer Agile. Pam. Uh, Pam. Who are you? P Pam. What are you so sorry about, Pam? Oh, somebody lost somebody. I missed that. Kathy. Uh, love your life. Barbara, you're too kind to me. Thank you. There's your seven day. Showers and storm Thursday night on into Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, moderating temperatures. Uh, there you go. All right. Now, let's give a little bit of a national flavor here. It's one of the other things we do like to do. Temperatures across the board look like this. Tiffany Pat saying Merry Christmas to everybody. Sioux Falls, six above. Denver, Colorado, 19. Minneapolis, 14. Colleen Evans, hello to you. 45 in Buffalo, 21 in Bangor, Maine. Uh, we take a look at the national map here. Lost her dog. Ooh. Yeah. That's tough. No doubt. All right. So we've got a little bit of a snowstorm through Minneapolis. There's Iowa. A little snow there. Uh, northern Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Coming across. Uh, now, things are getting a bit active here. Got that storm system in the south. And then look at this. Got a little feature coming in the south SoCal here. It's going to be some good news for them. And then another system coming up in there in the packed northwest. Merry Christmas, Bonnie Bennett, to you and your family. <laughs> you know, right, Bonnie? Uh, it's cold in Sioux Falls. Yes, that is correct. Uh, so the snowpack now. We do like to track us with that fresh uh, little mound of snow there that's coming on through with that little clipper feature there. There you go. Iowa, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Minnesota, and Wisconsin doing pretty well. Ooh. Yeah, so that's that. All right, temps north of the Great White Border. ho -ya! Two below in Point Barrow, two below in Anubik. Ooh, Juno has warmed up to 40 above. Look at that. Uh, Fort Ross, 32 degrees below zero. Uh, Lauren Kreidler, uh, hello to you, and uh, happy Wednesday. There's uh, Thompson, Canada, 22 degrees below zero. Ikuyu, two below. Moosonee at 18 above. Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, nine degrees below zero. Uh, Sheila Harris, good to have you there. Uh, Sioux Falls at 6, Chicago 48 and dropping, Wichita 28, Atlanta 56, uh, Belize City 79, Kingston 81, Panama City 79, Caracas 79, Bogota 59, La Paz, Bolivia coming in at 48, uh, 68 in Brasilia, 46 in Punta Arenas, Cape Town 63, Khartoum 73, uh, there's Rabat, Morocco, 50, Cairo, 54, Berlin, 50, Oslo, 30, Moscow at 16 above, Surgut at 24 below, Bratsk at 18 below, Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia, 29 below. Look at Yakutsk. Oh, oh, just looking at that number, 56 degrees below zero in eastern Siberia right now. Folks, that is uh, out, outlandish. It's frigid. Sapporo, 39. Uh, Beijing, 30. Urkumi, 4 below. Shanghai, coming in at 46. Hong Kong, at 66. Ho Chi Minh City, 79. Uh, Macassar, 84. 
Broom, 86. Perth, Australia, coming in at 95 degrees. Putting in my order for the 80s, please. So 95 in Perth, 57 below. Holy ice bucket, says Lynette. Uh, what is the coldest recorded temperature on the planet? Uh, I want to say it's 123, 123 below. Hold on a second. Coldish. Coldish. Mm. Yeah, that's going to be minus 89 Celsius, minus 128 in Russia's Vostok station in July of 1983. Southern Hemisphere. Yeah. There you go. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Unbelievable. Wow. There you go. That is cray cray. No, thank you. All right, again, so back to our big story. Uh, watching the risk for a few storm to severe storms. I'm here. Melissa Nation, it's good to have you there. Miss Paisley, uh, we're going to have a, a pretty good freeze. Kiloe Moon, Yakuts, not Yakits. 57 below, by the way, in case you missed it, Kiloe. There's our, there's our storms. Front comes in. Boom. Few uh, strong wind gusts. Not expecting any tornadoes. But of course, we watch anything. We had dinner at Two J's. Nice. Uh, high, strong winds, severe winds, a medium threat for that. Hail threat, tornado threat, low. There you go. So that's that. Now, here's the coldest of the cold. Saturday morning, 27 Ocala, uh, 28, 29 Paisley, up towards Aster, 30 in the land. Uh, if you missed it, 34 in Orlando. I'm going to go a little colder in Bithwell. I'm going to go 32 in Bithwell. And I'll go uh, 33 in St. Cloud. I'm looking at some new information coming in. In fact, let me go ahead and change that now before I uh, before I forget. So let's do 32 in Bithwell. 34 there. St. Cloud. I'm going to make you 33. Let's do that. Boom. There we go. I want to do that. Uh, Claremont just above freezing. Uh, we'll get a little bit tomorrow. You can spit. <laughs> Guys, you're funny. Uh, there's freeze duration. There you go. Cha-ching. Reddick, 26. Ocala, 27. Uh, Danella and Bellevue, Lynn. Seven, eight hour freeze for you. Folks. Rutland, the villages, five to six. Wildwood, four. Bush and Webster. Three to four. And then uh, Lake County, Astor Paisley, five. Lady Lake, five. Eustace, uh, Umatilla, four. Uh, we did, Kevin. Christmas count. Ooh, I love that. So there you go. So that's Lake County. Let's do Sumter County. 28, six hour freeze duration. Villages, 29, five hours. Wildwood, 29, four hours. There you go for Sumter. And then Lake County. Let's get Lake in there for my Lake friends. Jane. Uh, there you go. Teresa McKay, Port Orange in the house. Astor Paisley, 29. Lady Lake, 29. Eustace Umatilla, 30. Leesburg, 31. Groveland mascot, 31. Two to three hour freeze there. Uh, no no moisture, so no Miss Torres. Cold enough for it, but no moisture. Orange County, Zellwood. Could be a one to three hour freeze there. Popka, one hour. Bithwell, one hour. Uh, Wedgefield, one hour. Christmas, one hour. Uh, so there you go. Mm. There we go. Seminole. There you go. There's Seminole there for you real quick. Heathrow, Lake Mary, uh, 31, one to two hour freeze. Geneva, Chuliota, there you go. And then uh, over towards Ocala, five day, 54, 34, 27, 32. That is a cold five day stretch. All right, let me wrap it up here uh, with a look at the updated seven day forecast. And there you have it 81 to 43. That is a 40, that is a th uh, 38 degree drop in temperatures, right? 40, yeah, 38. Boom. Now, hello from Richmond, California. Good to have you, Gracella. Carrillo, 
uh, uh, Zorma Torres. Now, what's the timing for Mel Rain in Melbourne? Kim, Kim Smith. So here we go, back into the 70s next week. All right, one final thing for Miss Smith, who needs to know the timing of the rain for Melbourne. So the leading edge, which will likely produce some gusty winds, is going to be right there for Melbourne. I'm going to go between 11 and 12 tomorrow night. There you go. Uh, Jojo, see you at 11, see you at 10. That's right, Sammy. All right, so that's it. That's your timing for Melbourne. I'm going to wrap it up here with a look at uh, the seven-day. And remember, just a quick little reminder, I am here tomorrow. I am off Christmas Day and off next week. And uh, I will obviously be fine-tuning and updating all these freeze graphics with the new data uh, tonight and again throughout the day tomorrow to make sure that you guys protect your plants, bring everything in, bring the pets in. Uh, uh, Grace, uh, Grace Sella, have a Merry Christmas. You too, young lady. Got to run, says Sheila. Kimmy Smith, you take care. All right, gang, let me rock and roll, shake and make, and make some final updates. You're a wonderful group. Stay safe and wear your masks.